ground. Dan picks up about three. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short gain. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Taken down at the 33. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Carson Palmer takes a look now from under center. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The kick, and it's through there. The kick is good. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Beckham is running this one out, and they're all him at the 18 yard line first down here Manning set empty backfield snap it out of the gun has his target and he's brought to the ground they're back at the line after that catch for a first down Manning set everybody emptied out for this snap from the gun looks to his left finds his mark Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. He's got the catch. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. That will bring us to the end of the third here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the beginning of the fourth quarter. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. And the throw is incomplete. Looking ahead, the Giants will be playing at home next week, while the Cardinals will also be playing at home next week. Offense lines up here. Third down and three. Launching it deep. And they can't connect. This is called managing the football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? You've got a lead. It's close. It's fourth down. It's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. The Giants will take the snap from the 45. Makes the reception. get a couple first downs on a drive it just of course it makes you feel good about what you're doing it loosens up the offensive play caller and there's nothing like dictating to the defense I love it. Washington in on the play that leads us to second down offense lines up here and Jennings taking the handoff gains about three this is third down He'll keep it on the play fake. Catch made. In on the stop. First down here after the completion. Still got it after the play action. Throws the pass. Shaughnessy's in on the coverage and forces the incompletion. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Play action. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up being complete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver. Knock that football out and get it to the ground. Third down and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. When you blitz on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush 
They're quick enough. They get there and they sack the QB. And a flag comes out. for the field goal. He was off the mark on his first attempt. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. That was a good hold, good kick. Three points. Good job by the offense. Josh Brown about to boot it down the field. Peterson's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Cardinals offense ready now to see what it can do. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down and 10. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Here's Brown. Nice tackle. I think, Jim, you know, when you got a close game like this, this third and long on the offensive side, you got to be smart. You know, don't take the chance. If you take the chance and cause a turnover, then that could turn the game around big time. So I expect the quarterback here to be very conservative with his decision. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. No return here as he makes the fair catch. First down on the way. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. And Jennings handed the football. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Taking a look at the rush totals. Both these defenses have to be happy with those numbers. Yes, Jim, I'm sure they're happy what they've done. They've made the offense one-dimensional. So when you have an offense that can't run, just think about one thing. And what's that? Go after that quarterback. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you know, always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Peterson with a chance to return this one. Two minutes to go in the second half. First down, pressure on every snap now. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Lots of ways to attack cover two, there's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath, you can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move and still throw it deep down the field. Palmer by himself in the backfield. Second down and 10. Going to take it the distance, the 30. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. They'll go right to the hurry up, won't use a timeout here. No one in sight has the grab. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. He'll throw it over the middle. Incomplete as he was looking short. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. Second and ten. 
He's got the touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown Cardinals. Cardinals. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Arizona Cardinals for the extra point. And the point after is good. So now as they get set for the kickoff, they pushed ahead, and with one more stand on defense, they can win the game. Cardinals getting ready to kick it away. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. First down, let's see what they come up with here. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Got the completion. That's a gain of 10. The Giants have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Manning's lined up, empty backfield. Dropping back now into the shotgun. And there's Cruz. The Giants have been quite good all season and throwing the football, and it's been another game like that today. Manning's been efficient. He's been finding his targets, and he's getting it done. He is showing why he's one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. When you take his talent and you put along with it great decisions, you get something special on the field. The Giants coming to the lines. They'll have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. Beckham is in the slot. The Giants snap it at the 41. Wants to go deep. And Cromarty can't quite hold on to the interception. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun makes the catch. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. First down. Pressure on every snap down. The Giants signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The Giants return now to the field, trying to protect this last little bit of real estate as they hold on to the lead late in the game. This play set up by the long gainer. Tosses the football. Picks up about five. Play number six coming up on this drive. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. The Giants will have the football coming out of the timeout. Really just a crucial spot here as they've gotten down inside the 10 and want to come away with seven. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one more play to make. First down coming up. coming. Defense looking for a stop. And Jennings got it on the handoff. That's Campbell making the stop. The Giants use a timeout. They'll talk over things before calling what should be the final play. One final snap coming up. Let's see what they can do here. And so they'll go for the field goal now and play for overtime. have second down they won't risk it they're gonna kick the field goal and try to win it in overtime they feed it to him one more time and he's gonna be stopped short what a spot to come up with a big time tackle to preserve the win 